What's up and good evening, people of YouTube. Welcome back to the Frosty Palace. And here we are, and it's going to be July 1st. going to be July by the time I post this, but this is late. But it is the Frosty Flash Forward for July 2016. And for those of you who don't know the series, this is where I talk about games that are coming out in the next month just to get people, you know, excited and myself excited, possibly. Who knows? Well, let's get right into it. July does not have a lot of big releases, you can say. Uh, there's a lot of, like, smaller games coming out in July um, that aren't, like, huge AAA releases, I guess you could say. Though some of them probably aren't. I'm just going to completely botch this. Uh, for a lot of people, um, Banner Saga 2, that releases as a sequel to the really like critically acclaimed first Banner Saga. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, this will be an Xbox Live game for gold this month. So keep an eye out for that, gold members. Um, and then on the 5th, it will release on the PS4. Uh, a couple other games here, Mega Dimension Neptunia 7. Don't know what that is. Uh, on the 7th of July, we see the release of Inside, that indie game that was shown at E3, the sequel to Limbo, which I'm very, I didn't know that was coming out so soon, but that's awesome. Very cool. And on July 12th, there's a couple here. The Ghostbusters game, based on the new movie, which doesn't look that great to begin with, and then this game probably won't be that great either. Not gonna cross my fingers for something good. It's like it's supposed to be like this action RPG Ghostbusters game, but I, I don't think it's gonna work. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, also on July 12th, which I think will completely overshadow that Ghostbusters game, will be Song of the Deep, the Metroidvania style game that Insomniac is making, but it's partnered with GameStop's independent developing studio. Uh, I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but it looks cool and for only like 15 bucks. Um, it, it's packed with stuff and it's going to have a lot of things to do in it. Uh, three days after that, my favorite release this month, Monster Hunter Generations. I've been a huge Monster Hunter fan uh, since it was back on the PSP. Um, and to see this one come to the West is awesome. Has like introduces four new hunting styles, which makes the game look like a lot more fun. It shows off some new monsters. Again, you know, it's another Monster Hunter title. So if you're into that, then it's going to be a lot of fun. I probably won't be picking it up right away, um, just because of some things, but I definitely want to in the future. Um, other than that, there's a lot of, looks like, I don't want to say JRPGs because I don't want to seem like that kind of guy, but that's what they sound like. Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force, Tokiden 2, I'm assuming that's the sequel to Tokiden Kuami, which is like a, uh, like a super Japanese Monster Hunter kind of ripoff, but I mean... I got enough to get a second one. I am Setsuna, 10 Second Ninja X. But yeah, and then we're supposed to see the release of Fallout Shelter on the computers uh, in July. Um, no solid release date yet, but hopefully middle of the month, maybe. Crossing our fingers. Uh, but that's that's it for July. I mean, like I said, there's the second Banner Saga, Inside, Monster Hunter Generations, Song of the Deep. And then Ghostbusters, I wouldn't even really consider that to be in the, in the running for something good. But uh, again, thank you guys for stopping by for these short little video updates. I like to call my Frosty Flash forwards. And, you know, if you liked the video, hit it with a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit it with a thumbs down. But as always, thank you for stopping by and sparing your time to watch this video. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more Frosty goodness. And good night.